What's up guys, Fred here and today I'm gonna show you a really cool animated glitch effect like this one and you can actually use this effect on any other surface not only sunglasses, you know, you can use it on any other places for example this picture is a picture of me where I use this glitch effect on my skiing sunglasses so it actually looks pretty cool and before we continue I would like to say that this is actually a project from my pro photoshop course which you can get with 80% discount below in the description of this video but you know today I'm gonna show it just uh, on my youtube channel so you can do this as well so first of all let's create a new project and let's uh, adjust the sizes so what we actually have to do is we have to make our width 1000 and after that we have to make our height 1250 because this is actually the best size for Instagram and make sure your resolution is 300 and let's just press create so first of all let's take our image and you know just put it inside Photoshop and of course we have to change our image size so let's just um, hold the point and you know drag it and of course don't forget to hold shift when you do that in order to make sure our image is resized proportionally because if you don't hold shift it's going to get distorted so let's just um, make it the right size basically and yeah put it on the right place and that's it and then let's press just uh, ok perfect so now what we actually need to do we need to make sure our image is black and white and in order to do that we need to go to our layers panel and then we need to go to this layer effect and choose black and white from here so now uh, here as you can see it's already black and white and the cool thing is that we can adjust black and white presets so there are different effects for example we can choose from this ones and you can just pr press one on one on them and see which one you like the most if you're using windows you can just use uh, uh, keyboard arrows up and down to switch between the presets unfortunately on mac you can't do that so let's just see which one we like the most uh, this actually looks nice mm, let's see what else do we have here um, hmm. Yeah, I actually like this one. Yeah, I think I will stay with this one. And you can choose the one that you like the most as well. So let's go back to layers. And uh, now we actually need to put our image here. And yeah, a video, I mean. So this is actually a glitch effect video. It's actually a video that I just downloaded from YouTube. So you can just, you know, search on YouTube for glitch effect and download the video that you like. Let's put it inside Photoshop, first of all. <clears throat> okay. So now uh, what we actually need to do, we need to resize it. We need to make sure the width is not uh, bigger than the width of our sunglasses. So let's just place it on the right place. Yeah, place it on the right place. Let's resize it. Also, don't forget to hold shift. And let's press OK. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure our video is shown only inside the sunglasses, basically. And in order to do that, we need to create a mask. So yeah, the mask is going to be white first of all, and but okay, we need to make our mask black in order to make sure it's not uh, seen here right now. And if you don't know how masks work, just go to my uh, YouTube channel playlist Photoshop lessons, and there I will show how mask works because this is very important in order for you to understand how this is working. Okay, so let's now press twice on our mask because like when we press twice on it, we get this panel, and then we can choose view properties and we have to press invert and when we press invert our mask gets black so as you can see now we don't see our video anymore now we have to choose brush tool and we need to make sure our color is white okay this is very important then we need to make sure our opacity is 100, flow is 100 and let's make smoothing 0 and also we need to change the size a little bit yep and also we need to make the hardness like 80% somewhere around okay perfect so now let's get closer and what we actually need to do now we need to color with white color and make sure you have your coloring on your mask okay and now let's start coloring so right now we're coloring actually with white color but why do we see black because uh, right now the point of the video is just um, black that's why we see black but when we will change uh, the point of the video we will see the colors that we show on video but as you can see on the mask it's white so we're coloring with white color but we're coloring on the mask that's why so basically what happens when we color with white uh, we can see this part of the video and you will see in a minute what I mean so let's just you know color yep uh, you know it doesn't have to be perfect we're going to adjust it later so let, let's go to window now and choose timeline here 
So timeline is actually the tool that is going to help us to uh, to make sure we can create the video. And so well, well, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's just find this point. Yeah, press it and let's let's move it up so it's bigger. And now let's press create video timeline. So when we do that, we have actually our video created right now. And okay, if you are new to this one, don't get too scared. Uh, I will explain it in uh, detail. So it's going it's, it's gonna be easy for you, I hope. Okay, first of all, we can move this blue uh, arrow in order to change the time of the video. For example, as I move it, you can see that the glitches appear on the sunglasses and we can see the colors already. That's actually exactly what we need. Okay, and so as you can see here, we have here one second, two second, three seconds, and so on. So like one second, and then we can change it. And again, the glitches are changing. We can see the different colors. And uh, here we have also like 10, 20 frames, 30 frames, and so on. So what actually does this mean? For example, we can zoom out or zoom in the video. For example, I can just press, you know, make this left. As you can see, we are now zoomed out. Actually, the length of the video didn't change. We are, we are just zoomed out. That's why we don't see the seconds. But if we zoom in, we will see again this seconds. Yeah, you can just press here to zoom in. Perfect. So now I have to tell you that every second actually consists of 30 frames for example um, for example right now when we see 15 frames that means it's half of the second yeah here you can see it's written 30 fps basically frames per second so one frame is one second is 30 frames and then when you see 15 frames that means it's half of the second and when we have 30 frames it's one second okay and for example let's make it even bigger you can see right now 10 frames 20 frames and then when we get to 30 frames it's again one second and then we get to 1 second 10 frames, 1 second 30, 20 frames, and then when we get again 30 seconds, it's already second number 2. So let's continue. And uh, now what we actually need to do, uh, let's just you know move it again on the place uh, where we can see the video basically. Okay, yeah, right now. Yeah, let's, let's find a colorful place. Nope. Um, no, no. Okay, yeah, this is this is actually this one is perfect. And uh, now let's, um, what we actually need to do is we need to make sure we don't see our black colors. But before we do that, let's just you know adjust our mask. Just color with your brush again. Make sure when you color, you have your mask selected. So we just color with white. And let's color. Yeah. Of course, there are better ways to make a selection. But uh, right now, I'm just gonna show you this technique. So we are not gonna get into selections. Again, if you're interested in selections, I have a free lesson on that on my YouTube. Okay, and let's just make sure it's uh, it looks nice. And you can get even closer if you want to make sure it's perfect. So, but for me, it's okay like that as well. So let's just draw. Okay. And... Almost done. Okay, that looks actually nice. So let's just zoom out to see how it looks like. The problem right now is that uh, we see the black colors, but here, as you can see, we don't have to see the black colors. We only see, we only have to see the colorful colors. And how are we going to do that? In order to do that, we have to change the blending modes, basically. So let's make sure our video is selected. Then let's go to normal. And now we can change the blending modes. For example, we can press normal. And what we can actually do, if you're using Windows, you can just, again, press up and down arrow keys in order to move, change between them. If you're using Mac, you will have to select them one by one. And now let's just, you know, change them, see which one actually fits better. So yeah, this actually looks pretty nice, but we still see the black color. So maybe we can choose some other one. This actually also looks uh, really nice. Let's remember it. Let's remember the name, it's Lighten. But let's go forward and we can just, you know, move the timeline to see how it looks like. Unfortunately, we don't see that much of the color. So let's see what is else there screen oh okay yeah this is actually this actually looks much better because we can see more of the colors and we don't see the black color which is perfect okay i think i'm gonna stop with uh, with this screen option so that's it basically for the uh, secret part and now what i actually need to do we need to export this video um, we need to export this project as a video so you can post it on instagram on facebook or anywhere else the only problem is that right now our video 
uh, our glitch part is only two seconds long and uh, we need to change it we need to make sure it's uh, more than two seconds long so how do we how are we going to do that in order to change it and make it more than two seconds long we need to create a copy of it okay and as you remember when we create a copy we can for example create a copy by using alt or we can just duplicate the layer so right now i'm just yeah so we can just you know go on the layer and then um, press right button for example okay and then press duplicate layer and press ok perfect now we can just take our, vid our video and make it right so what actually happens from first from second number first to second number two we have our first video and then from second number two to second number four we have our second video okay so yeah uh, this this should look good already and uh, now our video is four seconds but we actually need to change this thing and make it four seconds so our video is not five seconds but it's four seconds because what actually would happen if we didn't change it so you see this empty place we would have no glitch effect right now there that's why we make it smaller so we see only the parts where we have the glitch effect now we need to go to file export and render video let's wait a little bit okay so of course now we can change the name so we can uh, change the place where we want to save this thing but most of the things you shouldn't touch actually you know because it's already okay anyway so for example let's just you know change the place where we want to save this thing so I'll just press select folder change desktop and press select folder again so what we actually can change right now is preset so we can choose for example what kind of quality we want to do like high quality and the medium quality low quality and if you have a normal computer just choose high quality if you have a slow computer then i would advise you to choose medium or low quality and if you're fine let's just press render and after we place render we just have to wait how long it's going to take to render this thing so again if you have a fast computer it's going to be pretty fast and as you can see it's going to take us only a few seconds to finish that come on and yeah done now let's uh, close that and now let's find our video okay yeah um where oh, okay it's here yeah let's open it yes and as you can see it's playing perfectly and the cool thing is that if you upload it on instagram uh like here for example it's going to be in a loop so it's going to play endlessly the only thing is that we need to make sure it's more than three seconds because instagram doesn't allow videos that are shorter than three seconds and as i said if you really like this video and you're interested in more Photoshop techniques, then I have a pro Photoshop course that you can get with a 80% discount in the link below. Uh, for example, you can create also like uh, with your personal picture a uh, glitch effect like this. Like this. <laughs> so that's all, guys. I hope you like it. Bye. See you till the next Photoshop secret.